Hello, hello, hello. My name is Faisal Khan and today I want to show you what has been asked of me many, many times, which is, you know, can we have an access to some sort of a spreadsheet that would help us model remittances? So what I decided to do is I decided to go into my cache and sure enough, I found two spreadsheets. I found one which was about, I don't know, two, three years old. And this is a spreadsheet where you can plug in values. I'm going to give the link of both the spreadsheets in the description below. There are Google spreadsheets. You can view them. You can copy them. Then you can, you know, do whatever you want. They're open source. They're not. Uh, there's no uh, intellectual property rights on this thing. I believe in contributing. So this is my contribution. So basically, it's a spreadsheet that you know basically says, you know, these the yellow over here are basically where you would sort of go and input some values. And then you can, you know, uh, look at the transactions. You can have month one, how many clients you will have, working days, number of transactions per days, the KYC cost of each transaction. Then everything is being taken from here uh, where the information is. And, you know, it's a, it's a pretty decent spreadsheet. It calculates your AML cost, the ACH fees, the returns, the frauds, the wiring costs, the amounts processed before returns or chargebacks and your gross profit, your revenue share and your net profit and so forth. So this is a spreadsheet that, like I said, is available. And this is what I call the single corridor. So it's obviously just looking at one corridor and it's looking at pretty simple things. When we're looking at the United States from here and it is not a complex version. It's a very simple version for you to work on and sort of uh, address all the parameters associated with, you know, trying to uh, model a revenue generation or revenue projections for your uh, particular project. And obviously everything that you see in the yellow over there are values entered by me. But like I said, this is a couple of years old and it was very simple. So then I made something slightly more complex. And this complex version I made uh, today so this is, you know, it has again two spreadsheets over here, two uh, sheets over here. One is calculation and one is revenue projections. And we will discuss both very briefly. Uh, everything over here is either M NRC, which is a non-recurring fee, a one-time fee, and MRC, which is the monthly recurring fee or other. So other basically says that, you know, uh, it may be a per transaction or a one-time fee and everything is listed over here. ACH fees, same day, it's 95 cents per transaction. KYC fees, uh, basic verific verification is $1.50 per customer sign up, valid for 12 months, etc. And you can, anything in the yellow over here is where you can input your own values. And uh, we have things like, you know, what's the revenue share with the, uh, your MTO or the sponsoring, what's the uh, FX revenue share, what are you selling it for, what's the monthly recurring clients, the amount of clients that will recur every month to the next month. So here's what it looks like uh, when we go over here. It's uh, We are designing it into three tiers, tier one, tier two, tier three. Tier one assumes that the transaction value is only $200. Tier 2 assumes the transaction value to be $500. Uh, tier 3 is $1,000. And, you know, 22 working days and the number of transactions per day on, on, in the debit card on Tier 1 for $200 would be 10. For ACH, same day would be 10. For ACH, next day would be 10 transactions. For Tier 2, we are assuming, you know, $500 transactions per day. We'll have about five of them. For Tier 3, we'll have about two of them. And we calculate the total number of transactions, the daily amount volume process, the total monthly volume process, the ACH same day fees, the KYC basic fees, ID fees, bank account verification fees, bank balance check fees, all sorts of fees for AML costs, transaction fee, assessment fee, limitation, network charges, etc., wire costs, everything is calculated. And then we come at you know the monthly costs the monthly recurring revenue, the total cost for the month, the amount processed, the amount processed after this thing, uh, after putting up uh, your, uh, uh, what do you call it, a returns and so forth, your uh, gross profit, your share after you split it with your partner, and what do you make per month. And, you know, with this models, like I said over here, showed the three transactions, tier one, tier two, and tier three, each tier has debit, ACH same day, ACH next day, as you can see. 
and each tier is the, the tiers are basically 200 500 and a thousand and you can change those values the next month becomes very interesting which is month two because in the next month what we are doing is we're saying okay we'll still have the new clients but we'll also have recurring clients from the previous month and you know where we showed you over here that you know uh, seven point five percent of the amount uh, of the clients from the previous month will be recurring so we have done the same thing over here we've included seven point five percent you know uh, of you know uh, of the previous month's transactions and they will show up over here uh, so again new clients recurring new recurring new recurring and so forth in month three, not only are we going to do have new recurring, but the recurring will include from month one and month two. In the fourth month, it will include recurring from month one, month two, month three, and the new clients and so forth. So it goes up to all the 12 months. And, you know, then it obviously calculates everything over here. And uh, there's, you know, for example, in this thing, it's a monthly profit is $11,000, etc. And obviously, this is just a, a dummy data over here, entered over here. You can enter data with respect to your corridors and your countries and so forth. But it is a very well-researched, very pragmatic, very uh, apt uh, spreadsheet that we've, you know, we've utilized. Um, I really hope you will take advantage of it. It is something that I've worked and spent a lot of time on and, you know, I hope you can take advantage and use it for modeling of your own income and your own revenue projections and so forth. Remember, and it gives you a very good understanding of really where you stand. You know, a lot of people, for example, will then, you know, come over there and say, hey, you know, um, oh, yeah, yeah, I can, this, this, this business is profitable, this business is not profitable or whatever. But you can use this spreadsheet to basically calculate and understand what will work for you and what will not work for you. Remember, it is just a model. There are many ways of modeling client data. This just happens to be one of them. Modeling client data is a very sophisticated science, and the more you do it, obviously, the more you understand and this is just a single corridor. So if you're doing five countries, you have to multiply it by five or whatever. You or you can make one spreadsheet for every other country, etc. But then you'll have to adjust the uh, either divide the costs by five or you know only have costs on one spreadsheet and re remove the costs on the other. The the MRCs, the monthly recurring costs, etc. But anyways, I hope this is able to help you. If you have a question or a comment, please leave it in the description below. If you have a Business inquiry, there's a WhatsApp number below. There's also a contact form in the description below. Fill it out. I'd be happy to speak to you. Till next time, this is Faisal Khan signing off.